Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another one. It is getting warm out. It is that time of year where the temperatures are rising. It's so damn hot. So along with the heat comes a little bit of stress that you're seeing in your yard. And maybe you also are seeing some hot spots. So this is how you can identify them, how you can treat them, and how you can prevent them for this year. Let's go. Okay, so identifying the hot spot is the easy part, right? It's a patch of your grass that is looking really stressed. Um, sometimes it'll get that ghostly hue to it, or it'll be plain and simple, just outright yellow. What I would do first and what I tell my buddies and my, my the people that ask, um, get yourself a screwdriver, flathead, a minus sign. Just go to the spot that looks like it. Try and stick it in the ground. How deep does it go? Does it go? Eh. See, it takes, some, it takes quite a bit of effort. You just wanna see how far your moisture is going down. Um, sometimes it's pretty easy to see too. The top of your soil is actually hydrophobic, which is a funny word to say, but your soil can get hydrophobic when it's fairly stressed out, when it's really dry and water will just run over the top of it. So the best way to fix this problem is baby shampoo. And uh, we have a lot of baby shampoo because we got a lot of babies around here. It sounds kind of funny, right? Using baby shampoo for your soil, but it really works. It's not an exact measurement. Just give it a couple pumps and you should be good. I usually err on like about two to three ounces per thousand square feet. That'll get the job done. Right now though, I am just focusing on doing localized areas. I, I have like four or five areas around my lawn that I can tell really need it. Along with the baby wash, I'm going to use Petra Tools' Drought Armor. There are lots of other products out there that help with this, but these two together, I found, work really well. The Petra Tools Drought Armor also has seaweed extract and humic acid, which will help your grass. So for right now, I'm just doing an application for my localized zones. I've got four or five zones around my lawn that need this application. When your soil becomes hydrophobic, the baby shampoo will break down that soil tension and allow your soil to absorb water again. So this right here is a perfect example of what a hydrophobic soil looks like. It's not even accepting the water. That is what you're looking for. That's what's gonna cause your dry spots. The other way that you can apply this is through a hose end sprayer. And I think I'm gonna be end up doing that this weekend because it's gonna be hot for the next foreseeable future. And this summer looks like it's gonna be hot and dry here. So I think I'm gonna end up doing a blanket spray as well. The majority of my buddies are like, hey, what's going on with my lawn? And I say, well, run your sprinklers and see if your sprinklers are even hitting that area. Most of them are say, come back and say, well, actually it didn't hit that area. So you have to adjust your sprinklers. I know that mine right there is because of sprinklers. I had the trampoline put in and I've had problems with that spot since I put the trampoline in because my sprinklers don't hit it. I might have to add another head right there. It's a whole thing. Um, other areas could also be disease. Uh, you could have a bad disease problem going on in that area. That's why you're seeing that yellowing. You could have insects in that area that could be affecting the yellowing grubs, webworms, webworms, sodworms. Let's say you got your sprinklers are hitting it. You regularly fertilize it. You've got good soil health. Start digging. Maybe you find that you have a big boulder that's uh, three inches underneath your lawn and that could be heating up the soil too much for your grass and then drying out your grass as well. That could also be a problem. So digging is a good tip too, to find out what your problem is of your grass. So if you're wondering what all these lines are in my lawn, uh, I was taking my little boy around on the uh, riding lawn mower and uh, the blades are not balanced. And so when I was driving, it would leave a little bit, it would cut more off towards the middle strip anyways always have your blades adjusted properly and uh, balanced and all that kind of stuff everybody knows nobody cares 
So for the heat spots, that is how simple it is. That's how easy it is to fix them and to prevent them in the future. You just need to have your irrigation properly um, set. And then if you treat them with some sort of soil amendment like baby wash or even the products like I mentioned, um, then you will have a better success rate with those heat spots. Enjoy the hot weather out there. And it's already June and it's gonna be a really hot year. Milk was a bad choice. Be ready for the heat, get your irrigation systems dialed in, and let's get the lawn looking great for the summer. Later's on the Menchie. All right, later's on the Menchie.